In yesterday's video, I showed you how to pull data from a Craigslist feed into Excel and then format the relevant information. In today's video, we'll be using two new functions in Excel 2013, Web Service, and Filter XML to accomplish a similar task using XML and XPath. So like before, start by performing a search in Craigslist. And then copy the feed URL. And then in Excel, paste the URL into any cell. And then use the web service function to extract the XML from the feed in a separate cell. And from there, you need to use an XPath expression to pull the relevant information. So start by creating a new tab with the headers date, title, link, and description. And now go back to the Craigslist feed, and with Firebug installed and opened, click the Net tab and make sure the All button is pressed, and then refresh the page. Click the Plus button next to the Git request, and click the XML tab. From there, you can pull the XPath expressions. For example, if you scroll down the date, You can right click the entity and copy the XPath, which looks like this. Keep in mind, however, that this will need to be modified slightly. So back in Excel, under the date header, highlight the next 25 cells, and then use the filter XML function. with the following attributes. First, you want to reference back to the extracted XML. I'm going to go ahead and make that an absolute function. And then I'm going to enter the XPath expression. By using the double forward slashes, I modify the XPath expression so that all the date elements are pulled. And keep in mind that W3C has some great documentation on XPath syntax for more information. So now you want to make this an array function. So we hit Control, Shift, and Enter on the keyboard. And if done correctly, the highlighted cells should fill with 25 different dates. Now you want to finish filling the table with the relevant information. So I'm going to look for the title, just hover over it, and the next path is title. So for the link, you can see that the XPath expression is item forward slash link. Change that to link. Then control shift enter.
And so for description, XPath is just description. Control Shift Enter. That's all there is to it. So and finally, as far as I know, this information is static. In other words, the spreadsheet will not update with new rows when new items are added to the feed. To get around this, you can either use the web query feature, like in my last video, or use another method such as VBA or Python to update the XML extracted from the feed. Alright, thanks for watching.